we need graphics. Oh, okay. That's exactly what we'll be uh, talking about today. Um, actually, uh, I'm, I'm going to be presenting a, a video record on that and so that we can learn from that. I pastor a church with United Pentecostal Church and we have been using Canva for our graphic and it has been awesome and it's free. So yeah. we'll, be, we'll be talking about it today. We have 10 uh, episodes uh, of this teaching and we are actually going to go on the basic of graphic design and then we're going to listen to our presenter. So let me turn her on so that you... Uh, my name is Kasia Zvonak Shvakovic and I'm a communication wizard at Texas Bureau. Welcome to our tutorial that will help you make eye-catching content using a tool called Canva. There will be something for everyone, beginners who have never used Canva before, as well as pros who are ready for the more advanced options. You can watch single episodes as well as the whole tutorial at your own pace, whatever works best. I hope it will be useful in your daily work. People keep producing more and more content. Everything competes with everything. Your non-profit posts fights for attention with a post of your friend coming back from vacations or paid ad of a new game or shampoo. Communication in social media is like a performance in a talent show. We have just two, three seconds to attract people's attention. How to grab it? By using eye-catching content. Humans are by late. We need only 30 minutes to identify a picture. We switch to more of page codes to more in a way we are constantly involved with information design the art of flow communication that combines agile words and ideas to convey a message to an audience and create a desired effect. In this episode of our tutorial, I would like to tell you more about the importance of color and contrast in your design aspects of any design. It helps to set the mood, create an orange, you know, connect us with creativity and adventure. Contrasting is used to emphasize certain aspects of the design. Using the contrast allows you to stress the presence with the elements and highlight the elements of your design. One of the easiest ways to implement contrast into your image designs is through the user's colors. For example, light bright colors out of dark colors or vice versa. In this image, I use a white font in contrast to the dark background, making the world more visible and visually appealing. Another simple part of added contrast is to make certain aspects of the design bigger or smaller than others. It can also mean added more white, like fold into word to elements. In this episode of our tutorial, I would like to tell you how to work with fonts. When selecting which font or fonts to use in your design, one of the most important aspects to keep in mind is readability. Like the left one and the right one and decide which one is more readable. Traditionally, serif fonts are best for print and serif for web. Having in mind the golden rule that less is more, please limit your design to a maximum of three typefaces. You can mix them, but make sure that your audience can read your message. Make sure there's enough contrast between your text and background. Triple check, spread ink and I'm pretty sure that text on the visual app. Oh, sorry. If the, the teaching is so fast, I can replay it if you want. Do you want me to replay? I have a bad connection. It's not coming through clearly at all. Oh, I don't think it's your connection. It's no, uh, it's the, yeah, mine isn't either. Yeah. The presentation is very poor. I'm going to leave it.
Thank you. Well, can I do it again? I think, I think it should be a connection because I'm receiving a warning here that the connection is poor. Yeah. Is this tutorial available on the Canvas site? No, but I can send the tutorial to you if you okay. desire. Yeah, that yeah. would be great. Okay. So I don't know if anybody else wants the tutorial. I can send it to you via your email. I think the problem we're having. Yeah. No. Okay. Now question. Can you hear me well? Yeah. Yeah. I think the problem should be internet, uh, because I'm getting a warning from my end that the intern, uh, the internet is, uh, in, interrupting. I don't know. So let me try it again. And, uh, if we are not getting it, uh, over there. So what we're going to do is that I can send the tutorial to you. So Great. that you can have it. Okay. So let's oh, I want to tell you. I would like to tell you more about the I is it, of I did now. Is it good? So far, but sometimes it, it breaks up. Okay. If you can send me your, oh, uh, your email, I will forward the tutorial to everyone. I'm sorry about that. Good. Thank you very much. Oh, I appreciate that, Chris. But contrast in your design. Color is one of the most important and complex aspects of a design. It helps to set the mood, create an atmosphere, bring emotions, and even evolve strong individual experiences from several spaces. Set colors like to come out of the power. That coordinating the mood seems the more professional the share it is, while orange, you know, connect us with creativity and adventure. Contrasting, this is to emphasize certain aspects of the design. Using the contrast allows you to stress the differences between elements and highlight the elements of your design. One of the easiest ways to implement contrast into your previous designs is through the use of colors. For example, when white colors out of dark colors or vice versa. With this image, I use a white font in contrast to the dark background, making the world quite visible and visual and appealing. And at the symbol bar, other than others, it can also add a little white folded toward the others. In this episode of our tutorial, I would like to tell you how to work with fonts. When selecting which font or fonts to use in your design, one of the most important aspects to keep in mind is readability. That's one. And the right one. And decide which one is more readable. Now it's breaking up. Or print and it's up a set race. Far away. Having in mind the golden rule of it, less is more of these places. You can mix them, but make sure. What you said? Is, is the presentation that, right now? The, yeah, the, the, that part and the one where she talked about presenting in the fonts, it broke up yeah. really bad. Okay, let me check it back. Having in mind the golden rule that less is more, keep in mind is where the big check at one and the right one. No, and decide. Oh, Sandy, are you having the same program? Traditionally, Serif fonts are best for print and some series. Okay. Yeah. I, I will, I will email the, the, uh, yeah, you have, okay. I will, I will email the tutorial to you. I think the problem actually should be from my end. So I keep on getting a notification. Having in mind the golden rule that less is more, please limit your design to a maximum of three typefaces. You can mix them, but make sure that your audience can read your message. Make sure there's enough contrast between your text 
and background. Triple check spelling and spell And I'm pretty sure text on the job adds value to your message too. It's only stating the obvious, repeating the copy or describing the job. You don't need it. If possible, use emojis in your copy. This visualization also helps your audience navigate through the text and stem collection. In this episode of our Canva tutorial, we will focus on choosing a proper image or picture for your design. Well, what I have the goal of the post or the campaign is it takes a company not only to write a good copy, but first of all, and on social media, gives people a chance to support your cause. You need to pair this copy with proper images. Sometimes it can be a photo, sometimes an illustration or an icon. It depends on your goal, message, and the organization style. I would recommend to do some background on your audience's interests and think about what type of visual content they'd like to see. The image has to relate to the content. Yes, photos of cats and dogs are cute, but unless you represent the animal shelter or pet store, they are irrelevant. Please remember to make sure you have permission to use the images you choose. Canva, in its basic version, is limited to free to use photos. But you can always check stock bubbles, like the one mentioned here. Pixabay, Pexels, Wikimedia Commons, Unsplash, Google, Flip, on the road, you will down the collections. With Canva Pro, you have everything in one place. In this episode, I would like to tell you a little bit about the composition and finding a harmony in your design. Okay, we well, gathered all the elements together, cool colors, fonts, amazing pictures. Now it's time to put them together in a clear composition. Designers must construct and juggle different elements to find harmony in their design. Let your audience focus on the most important elements. Remember that less is more. And it's also so much easier for your organization if you create a few different templates for various social media channels and for various purposes. If you create a few nice layouts connected by your branding colors, fonts, or recognizable graphic elements like circles in our case, you not only build your brand, but also make your message consistent, but you help your audience recognize your organization. If you like this tutorial, follow Text of Europe channels for more educational content. We at TechSoup make activists and nonprofits job easier by providing access to technology, resources, and community. Okay, I'm going to stop the sharing and we'll go to um, yeah. the, uh, the episode two. And like I said, I will definitely send you the uh, the tutorial to so all the email I have here. And uh, if anyone have question, I will be glad to answer them. I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Does TechSoup offer this software at a discounted rate? Right now, we don't. But I think the they have, if you have non-profit status, Canva can give you a discount. Okay, so let's, I want to do the, start sharing on the, I don't know, did, uh, did I answer your question? Yes, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, so I'm going to show the, the second episode.
In this episode of our Canva tutorial, we will learn how to create designs in different formats and use free Canva templates. When you use Canva, you don't need to be a professional designer to create beautiful designs. You don't need to even think about the dimensions of the designs that you use. Different for Twitter, different for a poster or different for a business card. Everything is here. You just need to find the right template. So let's go to create the design button here on both kind of design with joy. Create. Maybe he'll start with this uh, social media and maybe with physical posts. You have no idea about design. I'll find it here to help you. Here on the left side, just click and Find whatever think about the goal of your uh, design. What kind of message would you like to pass to your audience? Maybe not only about black lines red there, but about the matter therapy that the organization starts. You can use this one and just edit. Yeah. It's like it doesn't have its magic crown, which is a pro version, and it's for free. So you can do whatever you want with this. Yeah, but our element of inside, first of all, we can change the background. Yeah, I created some untitled palette of my old organization, maybe you can make it now. And I then you then edit the text here, like bread here. Hello, have an internet connection for my angle. Like I say, oh, uh, I'll definitely. Okay, it's, it's back again. Mister, I wanted to put my Hello. Oh, that's not look good. Let's come back to relax. And. Here it is. It took me uh, one minute to create a nice post Instagram. But let's say I would like to create now a presentation for my organization. So we are going back to the main website. I'm searching for the person page. And again, my organization doesn't have yes, the brand key and the templates that we are constantly using. So we can find something interesting for my organization and start using. Let's say this one corresponds to our values or mission or to our style of my, of my organization. So as you can see, the presentation has already painted different uh, pages, different templates that I can use that make it more in the style of my uh, group, my organization. It's the best. So you just click on each element of the style. And you use the colors, the floor, show your right chest. Yeah. You can see, say, that's my archive light. It's for free. So I just to go wrap like, see what it is? The first stage of my organization, PowerPoint template, created also in less than two minutes. If I would like to add another page, I just click plus here, and it's ready. And you can use another page of this template. 
just and just it is the brand that your organization is easy constant just clicking her and changing and I said you don't need to be a graphic designer to create beautiful designs while I oh I made it expensive it hurts more in red. Two minutes. Coming back to the main page and creating one more design. Or yellow, or maybe all of this. What would you like to see? Maybe a story. Story. This time, maybe. I took a sort of lengthy story. And I said, come over with no the dimensions. Here in templates, you can find. This one. And again, I'm just to talk over a switch, but of course, for the style of my organization. But this is the first. Story. And then that's my story is ready. What will be all my designs? So I can always come back here and use my previous designs. So my brand is more consistent. And I do all the time look for some ideas because everything is already here. If you liked this tutorial, follow TechSupure channels for more educational content. We okay, we have one more uh, presentation. So I'm going to end this sharing so that I can open that up. I don't know if anyone have a, have a question. I have a question. How involved is the text editing portion of the program? like uh, spacing and paragraphs and bullets and design of bullets and that, those kinds of things. Does that have that capability? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you just turn up uh, on uh, Canva, you see a lot of uh, 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 what to do with it. It has the capability and sometimes also you don't have to stop on the free aspect of it. You can uh, subscribe and you will get a full or uh, uh, functioning of everything you need. It's actually a good product. I judge I've been using it and they will find it very interesting. And does the free version have the capability of exporting uh, or importing? Yeah. Or do you, yes. It does. Okay. Yeah. Do you know the format? Uh -huh. Do you know the formats that it exports to? Uh, what actually happened is that if you open an account on it, after you finish your designing, now, if you want to import it, you have to download it. It will lead you to a place to download it. Now, and when you download it, it's already on your system. And it has various formats. So you choose whatever format you want. And when you do that, you can just have what uh, format you have already downloaded. And you can also bring in pictures or whatever you want to import outside of their system that you can use to design uh, whatever you want to design. Everything is already on that system. Okay, so let's get into the... Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, the last one, I'm so sorry, I tried I'm having from here. But like I said, I'll definitely send you the... In this episode of our tutorial, we'll learn how to make your design even more attractive by animating its elements or the whole design. Okay, now let's how to learn the help your content stand out. GIFs and videos are a great way to add movement and narrative to your visuals. In Canva, you can see which means that we will animate the whole 
uh, post at home design. And at one week, the block, you can see that so the text is coming as a block. Here, it's breathing feature. It's coming bigger. Maybe some fade. On pan. Price. And many more of them. It just depends on your creativity. How do you receive it? How do you like it? What would work the best with your audience? And here we go. You can also animate different parts of your design. Like, for example, we want text to be stable in one place, but we can animate just this part, this element. So when you click on the element, you can edit it. Backgrounds and with brightness. I'm interested in English. And then we move on. But you can also eliminate it with this button, just this element of that design. And again, as you can see, the fire element is, is moving, the rest is stable. Check all the possibilities. You can download it. And to remember that, for example, Facebook, it will work automatically if you download this as a gift. People will to click on it. When you choose another option, that they want growth and add a whole with Canva. Yes, Canva gives you some things here that I also recommend to you. So, heads up, video, audio, and animations won't play it when exported as this file type. So, the best forever when we look at the animation is download this as a video as before. If you liked this tutorial, all Text of Europe channels for more educational content. We at TechSoup make active. Okay, thank you for your time. And I'd like to take a question if there's any question. Like you asked, Mother, you asked a question about exporting. You know, let, let's see. If, can you see my account opening here? Um, well, it's taking time. So, well, if anyone have a, okay, we we'll have a program. Okay. This is. Okay. So this is my account. Can you see that? Okay. This is my account. You can see. It. Yes. Okay. Now, if you, like I say. To sign up is free and you can also do a non-profit. So now there are different, it depends on what you want to design. You can click here. So now for exporting, you, if look, let me go design something. Oh. <laughs> Okay, now if this place that says uploading, you can uh, upload whatever you want to upload. And this actually function, whether you are, you have a free version or paid version. Actually, the difference between the free version and paid version is that uh, on the free version, there's some pictures you cannot use. You have to pay for it and uh, can use all the function in both in free and paid fashion. Now, this is what actually I've used. I upload pictures, change things on the templates. So they have a different template that you, if you want to use. Now in exporting it, you come this way. You yeah, export because they have not actually created anything. So let me use one I've already tried to export it. Send design. Okay, this is my send design. Okay, so I want to export it. Okay. 
Sorry. I'll go to my design. So it's actually, you know, in exporting it will let you know, it will come up with a different format. That's be different. It depends on what you want. Okay. So here on download, so it come up with that different uh, format if you want. Now, if you look at this transparent background and there is a crown here, that means if I'm going to do, uh, download this, I have to pay for it. It's not free of charge, but that's like this one actually is free. And if I don't want the PNG, I can just click on that. It will show me JPG or PDF standards or this all free. If I'm going to use this one, I'm going to pay for it. And sometimes, you know, it depends on what you are doing. If you want more pictures and yeah, pictures, you have to pay for it. But actually the free part of it is actually good if you want to stay there. So, and there is, you know, there's pro in pro actually you have access to every pictures unlimited and you don't have to pay for it. I don't know if anyone have a question for now. Like I said, the, to open the account is free. I think probably four years now. And, and also if you don't want to register for the pro, you can, you know, uh, register free and if you want to use any picture, you can just pay for that picture. They have a program like that at that moment, you know, they will, uh, they'll give you access to it. Is there any question or contribution? It's all clear. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. And also I. On behalf of TechSoup, I just want to appreciate every one of you that uh, make out time to be here today. And like I promised, I'm going to send the tutorial to everyone email so that you can go through it and you, you learn. And if there's any uh, question you have that you're not clear about, we'll be glad to respond to that. We have a lot of good guys in TechSoup, TechSoup that will be of help to every one of us. Is there any other question? Okay. Thank you so much for your time and you expect an email from me and we'll be glad to send all the information to you. And like I said, any other thing you need from us, just send us email and we'll definitely get to you. Thank you for tuning in today. And have a blessed weekend. Goodbye. Okay, goodbye. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you.